Nice set in front of us. We got a uh, Retro versus Sharp Infinity. Uh, you know, Rano, Shovel Knight, I, I have, I'm not going to lie here, I have a tiny bit of experience in this matchup from the from the Shovel Knight side. Um, and, and one thing that I do know from, from speaking with Rano players is that edge guarding, Rano has a very specific way that it, Rano likes to edge guard, as far as I know. And that gets broken up by a very few couple of characters, and one of which is Shovel Knight, because he has that big hitbox in front of him on that recovery kind of doesn't let Rano go off and directly challenge the same way. Because it's constantly active, it can make it very challenging. But do do look like we're going to be starting off very good with Markiplier Gaming and Sharp Infinity, who is retro. Um, but, you know, uh, Sharp Infinity, just taking that early lead and grabbing those quick needles in the neutral. And, uh, you know, retro, at, at the same time, like, I, again, like, I'm a little bit taken aback. I haven't really seen too much Shovel Knight play. Obviously, I have taken uh, a relatively large hiatus from the game. Um, back to commentating is very nice. There's a little bit of fishing coming through, but you know, I'm not used to what Shovel Knight play looks like today. I haven't really seen Shovel Knight since, oh God, 2019, back before those patches came through on the forward air, which makes him play a little bit differently now. Fish is a little bit less for those combos and fish is a little bit more for the gold. Um, but you know, we're going to see some, some play coming up from Retro, but right now everything's favoring Sharp Infinity. There's a little bit of money in the bank here on the Shovel Knight though. So we might see some relics coming through in the next little bit. There's the conversion into the up smash there. And again, off the side of the stage, just going for a little bit more money. He's just finding those opportunities. I love the bounce to get back to stage there. Going over the top. It was a very good option from Retro. <clears throat> and now finally finding a little bit of stage control in his favor. Potential for the conversion into the up smash there. Doesn't end up coming through. And that back air does seal the stock. That is our first one over to Sharp Infinity. And now Retro. Again, just using that downer to get over the needles. I like that as a solution to a problem that I didn't really consider. Instead, off the side of the stage now, putting a little bit more money in the bank. We've got 2,500 of the Gem Jewel dollars. Down Smash is going to be sealing that. And the first one coming through, we're going to see the Momentum Mail and the Horn coming through. So, very active playstyle with the potential to really get some radial hitboxes out. Maybe cover those recoveries that will outbox it. Now, a bit of neutral back and forth. We're seeing, again, just lead is favoring Sharp Infinity. There's been a bit of a drop from the beginning with Recho. Has kind of struggled to find any way back into that game since. Yeah, and really just like on. that, you know, this is so much damage coming out onto Retro. But, you know, Shovel Knight at late game is much harder to deal with. Yeah, we really haven't seen too much activity from the, uh, the horn so far. Obviously, uh, I say that. Naturally, it's going to come out right away, but, you know, <laughs> Retro... Retro's kind of been struggling to find the openings, finding the way through the the, the, the infinite um, pressure that's coming through from Sharp right now. Um, he's been doing a really good job of just outboxing the Shovel Knight, which is a little bit strange. You know, Shovel Knight has those more, those rangier options, if you want to call them. That great conversion there mm -hmm. in the boulder, I really like that. Yeah, but it's really interesting to me that Retro ended up going for the horn here, because one of the things I always see from Retro is a gear buy, like, before even any uh, armor comes through. Um, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm still I'm still the Ghost Gloves nerd, not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. um, uh, gear uh, has been seeing a lot more prevalence in the meta lately. Oh, gear, gear has some interesting stuff with it. I love that you can kind of, you know, you can kind of pincer people with it if you're careful mm -hmm. about it. You, know, you throw, throw it behind you, but, you know, different angle and whatnot. You can do some cool stuff with it. I think a lot of Shovel Knight's relics have the opportunity to do some very neat stuff. They're just mm -hmm. immediately landing with that horn, but I mean, there's a big comeback that's going to be required here from Retro to find a way back into this. Yeah, and just like that, that down strong going to end up taking the game one. That's two stocks up for Sharp, right? You know, it seems like the break did them a little good, you know, uh, got all the nerves under control, and absolutely just playing really calm and controlled. Yep. Yeah. Over to Treetop, We've got the small stage. This is the, the go-to here from Retro. I haven't really seen any like attempts for some very long conversions here so far from the Shovel Knight. All right, that one threw me off. <laughs> grounded grounded fish, I'm, I'm, I'm admittedly a little bit confused. Nothing can stop this man. But yeah, no, at the moment, Retro <clears throat> just trying some air oh. in the space and then we're starting to see a little bit of that forward air stuff come out. Just talking about how they kind of got rid of that, but you know, obviously, Rivals of Ether, it's very hard to kill anything. Yeah, I mean, they, they didn't quite get rid of it. They just made it a little bit easier to Ooh. deal with. But, Ooh. oh, the SD is still never going to be quite easy to deal with. So the question is, can Retro keep his wits about him 
And this is, you know, 100% on Rano. Not bad and still in full control, but definitely can't feel great. Ooh, nice fish. <laughs> Yeah, no, he's been finding a lot of those so far, just off the stage, you know, taking a little bit of extra time, grab the fish, there's really been no attempted pressure, and, I, you know, there's two sides of that, I'd like to see Sharp go down and maybe pressure those opportunities, but at the same time, you can just get yourself punished, if you're in the wrong place, wrong time, you make the read incorrectly, you're off the bottom of the stage with Shovel Knight, who has the best, uncontested, the best recovery options in the game has so many tools at his disposal, can stall for so long, and yeah, that's not somewhere you really want to be, that you don't want to be in Shovel Knight's domain down there. Especially as Rano. Oh, great fish. Yeah, and you know, we're getting the armor, we're getting the golden fish, and this is like, what, 200 off of buying literally any relic that you could ask for. Yeah, B, you know, it depends if he's gonna go for that gear, if he's looking for ghost gloves. Um, but, you know, you're going to have to make that transition relatively quickly. You're running quite far behind. I say there's quite a few downers coming through. Really nice oh. conversion so far here from Retro and gets the golden fish. Amazing. Nice back air. Unfortunately, does get the stock sealed on the other side of that. But what a conversion there. Almost immediately tying this game back up there from Retro. I love that you finished that off with the fish as well. And does manage to get the golden fish off of it. Gets all that time in incorrectly. And now there's so much pressure suddenly from this Shovel Knight. Great oh play with the horn. And that is short enough to be one clip between those two kills. Great stuff from Retro. Yeah, and just like that, you know, once again, like I said, Retro, never a stranger to showing us something new. Yeah, I've never seen that before. That was very clean. And I love, like, just covering, like, okay, you're going to DI in on this. I know that I can get you down with the spike. I, it's one of those things where you see that, and you got to wonder if that was completely, like, custom, or it's like, yeah, no, I've done that about 16 times today. You know, like, you, you never really know. If you, if you don't, you know, sometimes you do things that seems impressive to other people or whatever. It's like, no, no, that's just something that I do. And there's a lot of expressiveness in Rivals. And it's something that really, you know, gravitates people to the game. It's just how much you really get to be like, yeah, that's that's something that I do. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, you know, maybe that's what Retro does right there. But what a conversion into the fish there. You know, it's long enough that it's lasting into the third game here now. Retro. Trying to find some damage off, but unfortunately, you're not going to be Once able to again. stay it, taking that stock. <laughs> nice back air coming out from Sharp Infinity, and, you know, that down air going to eat up all four of those darts, but Sharp just does not mind it. Yeah, he's been very good on those conversions off the side, Sharp Infinity. I mean, obviously, when you're playing Rano, you like to get people off the side of the stage. Rano's kit is very, very well suited to just finding mm -hmm. people off the other side of the stage. Oh, does catch him with the DI mix-up, though trying to get out of the further combo, but instead is going to convert it into a soft spot, but a very strong hit, nonetheless, of that up B. Yeah, but now we have Momentum Mail on board, uh, so despite Sharp having this advantage, the question is, is he going to be ready to co to combo Shovel Knight with the added weight? Yeah, um, you know, obviously adding in Edelis just to the piece of the puzzle there is going to be able to grab that kill now. Now full stock disadvantage here for the Shovel Knight of Retro. Shovel Knight always feels a little bit off, you know. Mm -hmm. Like it just it just never quite feels right when you're watching it. Like you, often you see like some some neutral play from from most characters. There's like a style to them. Shovel Knight feels different, and I love that. He's this quirky little bin, and he's very very effective when played correctly. Um, and we've seen some moments of brilliance here from Retro, but just really struggling in this neutral play against this Rano. Does grab the fish into the up smash. Obviously, just looking looking kind of special. And again, we're looking at Ooh, the horn. Got the here horn. Again. Clearly deciding that this is a good option for the matchup into the Rano. Yeah, but, you know, once again, Sharp, you know, really, really great at the adaptation, Ooh. but the horn right off the top. But, you know, like I said, you know, Retro keeps showing us something new, but anytime that he repeats anything, Sharp is ready for it. Sharp is waiting, and Sharp is looking to seal out this last stop. Double wave dash. Down strong? Very good. I don't think that's quite strong do position it. quite right. It's not going to quite take the kill. And now, Retro's back on stage. We're never putting anything past Shovel Knight, but right now, 142 versus 34%. It's going to be a lot of damage required out of this Shovel Knight. He's starting to find it. Try and steal this one. Oh, steal this one out of Sharp Infinity's hands. Going to be a lot of work, though. Staying on top of that bubble. I love moving it. Gets caught into that downer. Isn't going to land with the hit. 172 on the Shovel Knight now. Oh, I love the, the micro point. movement coming out from Sharp here. Oh, it doesn't quite just the barely bubble. misses out. Unfortunate, but that is game three. Heading on over to Sharp Infinity. But, you know, obviously long road ahead of us. And we're, we're seeing some cool stuff. I really want to see Retro really get into their stride and start doing some neat stuff. Absolutely. There's been a lot of potential you know, like so said, far. Like I said, always a treat to watch.
Um, and we're going over to Rockwall, and we've seen Retro do some crazy stuff on the smaller stages. Like, on that Forest Floor game, Retro was a an absolute menace. Absolutely. And, um, you know, I have a newfound affinity for this stage. Been provider of some incredible games so far. And I'm, you know, I'm hoping that that trend continues. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, the, like I said, you know, on those smaller stages, Retro is just, just absolutely just taking control of this. You know, Sharp just doesn't get a chance to breathe. Not the biggest lead ever, but yeah, no, I know what you're saying. It's it just looking so dominant. What a weird conversion there. I love it, though. Coming yeah, in I from, mean, like, uh, it, it might not be the biggest lead, but this is so much gold from these combos. Like, these, these are relying on a lot of the multi-hits, but oh my god, up air into jump cancel up strong. You know, the, the, about as multi-hit as you need on the Rano. Yeah. No, it's it's gonna gonna be able to take that kill. Now we're finally seeing that mobile gear. Maybe just starting to mix it up a little bit. I think the horn was working pretty well, but you know, obviously worth giving some other things a try. I don't think the ghost gloves are gonna be the option during this set, but you know, you, you never know what you're gonna see. Using the uh, mobile gear to stall there. I, I'm noticing thrown uh, kind of far from the opponent in both of these occasions to get it parried. And, you know, we were talking about how efficient that early game's been for Retro, and it's kind of falling apart right now. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Re Retro's saying, you know, go, my son, hold down the neutral. But Sharp is holding down enough neutral for two. But And it is, it's just looking worse and worse. Oh, yeah. my lord, what a wait. Stealing another stock off the top. These games are feeling quicker and quicker, Sharp Infinity. Uh, looking razor sharp with some of these options like oh. just not making any mistakes grabbing that quick combo for 50 percent 65 added up what and a needle just, boost oh my god very clean very clean sharp infinity keeping the keeping the rock wall record good like to see it oh my lord i wasn't ready i wasn't ready in the slightest I, I think that the only person who was maybe less rated than you was a retro right there. What a <laughs> conversion to grab that needle boost. It's such a tight input to really want to go for that. But you know what? You're three stocks up. You might as well. And he does find it. Sharp Infinity's had a uh, couple of uh, clippable moments right there. But really, uh, that, that's the one. Yeah, I mean, like like you said, you know, three stocks up. And Sharp looking to try to make it three games up. But not if retro can say anything about it with this incredibly huge lead. And it, it seems to be growing. Yeah. Something about these early stages have really been favoring Retro, but hasn't been working out so far, unfortunately, in these games. Really, it has to be going for something crazy to find these leads. Sharp Infinity has just, you know, I don't don't like saying it this way, but Sharp Infinity's just looked better. It's been really, really good play so far. Very, very clean. There's another oh, coming down. Oh, really good weight, though. Come for the extra fish. Get some money in the bank. I'm interested to see, you know, are we going to be going back to the horn play? Are we going to be getting some mobile gear? Maybe going over to the ghost gloves? Don't really know. Oh, I like that very oh. quick conversion, but it just doesn't really find him too much damage. Yeah, but off stage, able to get the fish, and that's 1,200. Just needs like about 100 more, and you can get ghost gloves even. Yeah. Yeah, and there it after. is. Enough for ghost gloves, even if you die here. Yeah, it just wanting to you know it kind of cover the basis right here but obviously every every hit that we're getting in here from the shovel Knight is just bonus a hey, obviously you're going to lose the stock at some point you want to prevent it for as long as possible because really adding percentage not going to get you too far you got to really seal those stocks out and so far sharp infinity having a really hard time with that on all stages it's this one and now we're finally seeing a kill come through but we're also seeing the gear yeah and you know gear didn't quite do too much for Retro in the last game, but you know, maybe we'll see something a little different here. Starting to carry Sharp a little bit off the stage. Oh, we're getting something interesting. A lot of damage. We're finally seeing some neutral wins, actually. It's been a little bit. We'll see what we're gonna do here with the rock setups. I like <laughs> these. Nothing you can do about that. You can parry it, you can go for whatever. It's always gonna be a safe option for Shovel Knight. Very nice setup. You shouldn't really let him have that. And good stuff from Retro. To find that setup so far, I'm liking the gear play. Yeah, but this is Spirit Tree, a ridiculously volatile stage, and literally any hit could end up leading to a kill, so as long as Shark keeps his wits about him, it should be fine. But Retro's just not letting it happen. Letting all the tricks out of the bag right now. Yeah, I'm liking this gear play. This is, this is feeling more 
uh, comfortable than than the the, the horn play really did. It, this mm -hmm. is clearly, to me, this is what Retro likes to use. This is this is looking a lot more rehearsed, a lot more practiced, and I, I think it's mm -hmm. working in his favor right now. Obviously, Sharp Infinity still definitely in reach for this game, but that last stock is such a dangerous place to be right now. Ninety percent on the Rano does get the weight and grabs the up smash. Yeah, and Sharp's been getting these weights really, really well timed uh, consistently over the past few games. Jumping right over Ooh. the gear. Oh, this could be big damage. 50% on the side of that Shovel Knight. Starting to get very close. Here's the gear coming in to try and cover that recovery. And Sharp and Finney's just really given Retro the room they need. Is not going for anything too aggressive. Throwing in a couple needles. Oh, Ooh, does go for the option shift there and grabs the read into the up smash. That's two to two. Yeah, it's two to two. And like Retro's not letting this. Oh, it's two to get three. We're like both three, wrong. it's three to two. Sorry. We're Retro really just isn't letting this get away from him. Right? Like like I said, Retro usually gets gear first and then armor second, from what I remember. Uh, from what I remember from seeing the ROC uh, from the uh, RCS stuff that I've casted with Retro in it. So seeing more gear play, more of returning to what's familiar and what's comfortable uh, seems to be working out for Retro. Um, like we said, it's a first of five. You have a lot of games to play with. Yeah, and uh, I'm starting to see a little bit of familiar format here. Just early start there from Sharp Infinity, getting that early lead seen it before fortunately for ooh, for retro we are seeing it again quick conversion there does have the rano off stage doesn't have too many resources now not starting to get a little bit desperate does get him back off stage you can't do anything about this down air great conversion from retro and takes that kill oh my lord retro like also even going to be grabbing the fish like not not letting anyone breathe here yeah there's no 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 time that isn't good for fishing it seems Mm -hmm. it does grab that 1400 nearly 15 but i mean it's basically even on percent at the moment it's really more what you're looking at right now if you're retro and a lot of work out of these down airs yeah and oh. once again going for the fish you know re retro out here like woman fear me fish fear me frogs fear me all all creatures on this mortal plane fear me and i do not care what time it is because it is fishing time yeah, if you yeah, Sharp Infinity right now, I'm sure he says he's terrified. That's a completely unpredictable man with an anchor in front of him. And hey, <laughs> what do you do? Like, he's he's been playing very, like, it's got to be such a difficult situation if you're Sharp Infinity to really look this down and be like, yeah, no, okay, I know where I need to stand right now. I know what I need to be doing. I know what resources I can burn to get there. This is looking so unpredictable from Retro. It's very refreshing like constantly doing new stuff there like what was that dash forward way or moonwalk back forward smash there, there wasn't even an option there from sharp infinity it was just an awe mm -hmm. and you know sharp like we said it, it's very patient player very strong player uh going to continue to push that lead but retro oh my god retro like it's, it's just it, it feels like even if retro is losing he feels in control of the match yeah, it's a really, really good start, Yeah, it, you know, to this stock for, for Sharp Infinity. But like you say, yeah, it, Retro is always being the eye-catching one, but it's just so much more damage being racked out, uh, or, or, like, racked up here from Sharp Infinity. There's been a couple more hits finding together. Retro is putting in so much work in these neutral situations to try and find something, but it's just constantly getting beaten out by, you know, a needle or, you know, a neutral air or something. Something's finding the options, but for the first time in a while, we're seeing the, the damage advantage favoring this Shovel Knight, maybe looking to even it back up again. The down tilt barely doesn't convert into anything. The soft hit of uh, up smash there from the Shovel Knight. Rock does come out. Standing underneath that rock is a relatively safe place to be. Ooh, I oh. like it. Okay, there was so much potential for that to be so cool. <laughs> yeah, like, Retro's Ooh. trying to do something interesting, Ooh. but Sharp is Ooh. just trying to survive, and it's not going to happen. Oh, almost fished him back up. What? I, I can't, I don't have the right words for what Retro's doing right now. I'm feeling it a complete lack of vo vocabulary to really describe this Shovel Knight. There's so many cool options. They're trying to get the... Um, was it the rock hit onto the gear while it was moving to like push sharp a little bit further away? And uh, there's been so many cool things you've thrown out with this gear. I'm really glad 
that the, the the horn's kind of gone by the wayside and we're starting to see a little bit more creative play with this mobile gear because clearly retro feels comfortable with it yeah and here we're going to ethereal gates one of the stages which is relatively polarizing amongst rano players some love it some hate it uh because you know his up strong is not quite going to be able to catch on the platform but he also gets a lot of tech chase opportunities yeah and, and obviously rano's never opposed to having some platforms available so then he has that access to some aerial mobility obviously rano losing so much of that incredible speed as soon as he presses the jump button um and so having those platforms there is really nice but it also lets the the enemy shovel knight really put some pressure on Ooh, barely not catching with the up smash there of course uh shovel knight's up smash is able to hit that platform landing on top of the rock there oh yeah, and Sharp is into the going for some interesting stuff here, uh, but once again, not able to retain the percent lead. And Retro getting the early percent lead Ooh. before... Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> I was going to yeah. say, Retro having the early percent lead before buying an item feels like it's, it's not boating well. Ooh, good follow there. Time to fish, baby. Yeah, Retro just just calling out that the dash back and grabs the you know just grabs a hit, grabs an up smash. It's gonna be able to seal that one's out. And like you say, Retro always feels like he's um he's almost playing too many steps ahead. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like he always feels like he's one up on the game right now, but he's kind of getting a bit too complex for himself sometimes. And it's putting him in situations like this where he's down a hundred percent just because Sharp Infinity is going for those those quick, easy options and finding those quick hits. And it's been building him a really big lead. Yeah, I mean, Sharp, like, he's a uh, veteran from other fighting games, from what I understand. So very, very much just ready to wait and adapt Ooh. Ooh. and try to figure out how exactly to play around the Shovel Knight. Because Retro Shovel Knight is, like, changing from game to game. Yeah, it's it's more adaptable than the, uh, than the Relics would really let you believe. It's... Oh, just just so many new options coming out. It's really sometimes when we're looking at games and it's like, all right, you need to start adapting to that. That is the thing that this person is doing. Mm -hmm. You need to start reacting to. I don't really have a, a clear cut idea of what's coming out from uh, Retro right now, other than uh, just some wildness. But I mean, on the side of Sharp Infinity, really as well, not keeping it too simple. There hasn't been too many copycat options coming out. Obviously, Rano has some bread and butters that they can go for, but they haven't felt too uh, uniform or too rehearsed at all. And really doing a good job to stay out of everything that Rich is trying to go for. I love mm -hmm. the stall in the air there to, to just kind of delay that. So they're going to be way back to stage here. Oh, going on the rock. He's going to make his way back. And now it's just going to be some free damage tacked onto the Shovel Knight. Yeah, and you Upper know, 52%, 52% for uh, for that extra credit, no, definitely nothing to scoff at. And Sharp just has to continue to get those hits in. But oh, this gear, it's making things really difficult. Sometimes taking on gear can put you in a bad situation. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, obviously Sharp getting taken a little bit further. I love those quick two up airs. It's such a good way to tack on damage. And we're starting to see a little bit more come up from Sharp Infinity. Obviously, winner of this game is going to take the potential for match point. Going to put you on such a strong position. We've talked about it before, how comfortable it can be. Put yourself in the, on that fourth point. Yeah, and both players, you know, about 30, 40 percent. Yeah, and lowering uh, away from that kill percentage. But, oh, Lord, th this, is, this is looking slowly to be in Retro's Ooh. favor. Oh, and the horn on board too now. I love the switch there. It's bottom the bottom of the win before, just switching that horn at the last second changes how you need to be thinking about the Shovel Knight's options. Doesn't have that neutral control. Ooh. Doesn't have that last stock either. That's point number four over Sharp Infinity. Nice backer going to be taking it. And that's match point now for Sharp Infinity. Yeah, and now Sharp has the advantage, obviously, not only in the, uh, the, the the match point, but you have the Sage Select. You can lose this game. It's okay. You still at the advantage. That fourth point means so much. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, Mr. Markiplier Gaming, Retro, has to has to pull out something new, has to make something work. But right now, just some very methodical neutral breakdowns so far from Sharp Infinity, but we're starting to see those punches start to roll in. And it's a little bit worrying. We've seen uh, Retro do some crazy stuff off the side of the stage at the beginning of these stocks. Oh, it's getting scary. Oh, no double jump. 
Yeah, yeah and just like that, there's me. so much damage coming out already. I'm just going for a lot of these really heavy combos. I like the option Ooh. there, just going for the moving fishing line. Nothing, nothing baits in better than just like looking like a wounded fish right now. And Rondo is Rondo is looking a little bit like a wounded fish at the moment. 100% on the side of that. Potential for the kill here doesn't grab the up I thought it was going to be the up when we went for the down air. Now, yeah, looking a little bit on. like a catch and release situation. Oh, but, oh, oh no. It's like not not quite what you want in this, in this scenario, though. Ooh, 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 oh, this is dangerous. Oh, oh. This is really dangerous. Oh, there my is. lord. Oh, Retro wants to be <laughs> yeah, I think I think I think Richard's looking like he wants to take this one on. Seventy five percent on this first stock at the moment. Grabbing another fish. Um, it, it's looking very strong at the moment. Getting that little a bit of a up the extension. Grab that extra hit. Is there going to be a little bit more of that? This is the first time we've really seen those offstage combos really coming through at the moment. And it, you know, Sharp Infinity hasn't proved that they know how to deal with them. Hasn't proved they know how to di. And uh, you know, and now finally, it's an option coming out from uh, Retro. And it's worked. Yeah, I mean, like, one of those things that you can do in the previous games, right, is purposefully not actually punish your opponent for DIing, you know, improperly to make them think that they have a safe DI until you bring it out when it really matters. And when it really matters is when you're at match point, you're waiting, to, you're biding your time, and now is the time to strike. Now here comes the horn coming through, and there's that up smash landing, but obviously still has so much damage to try and recover has that radial option of the horn to try and cover off those recoveries off stage, but right now it's all sharp infinity. Getting so much oh. Ooh, just going in for the wave dash jab and punish. I think there could have been something bigger there. Missing out on an opportunity potentially. Ooh. And with that downer. Well, oh, really right. interesting options now from Retro. Just kind yeah. of playing a little bit more reserved. He doesn't have to do anything crazy. Yeah, I mean, like, one of the big things I've seen from Retro is Retro is actually incredibly BM player when given the opportunity. I remember Retro going up two games, uh, buying Golden Armor in game three, and then getting reverse 3 0 um, <laughs> So the, the question is, you know, what, what's Retro's plan, right? You know, play, having a little fun with this game, uh, just kind of try to break down Sharp's mental for the last game. Um, but Sharp's still looking for that Ooh. way in, but not going to get it. You know, and there's something to be said for retro conditioning the do nothing as an option. Some players mm -hmm. are able to do that. You can make it so then you standing still is threatening. And I think if retro has been able to condition that from that previous game, if that starts to get concerning for Sharp Infinity, that gives him a very useful tool in the toolbox because it puts the other person on edge the whole time. All right, and just like that, we're going to a game nine and Retro coming alive once again with the Shovel Knight. This is like, this is absolutely ridiculous to watch. Like that, that game was so heavily in Retro's favor, but Sharp, you know, should be ready for a lot of these things before, right? You know, we may, we've told tales about how Sharp's adaptation Whoa. is so good and this is so much damage already coming out. Yeah, that's a good way to start off this final game. I want to give a huge shout out to the seeding so far from Olive Oily. This is a uh, triple game nine, if, I, if I'm keeping track correctly. We've at least had three incredibly close sets. And I'm looking like we're going to have a couple more going forward. Retro, trying to make this one feel oh as distant God. as possible. Finding a kill with the side B. And that's a uh, first stock found, but obviously it's not going to be anything definitive as now chasing Sharp Infinity off the side of the stage. This is a very different Shovel Knight that we've seen previously. It's so much more aggressive oh, than chase off the side of the stage. And he's going to take that kill. Yeah, and Retro has been saving this the best for last. And dear Lord, Sharp is in such a bad position here. The question is, can you make that comeback? Oh. That Momentum Armor hasn't been bought just yet. And now it is on board. The stock gets taken. Sharp down two stocks. This is still doable for Rana with these close side blast zones. Yeah, it's not been impossible. We've seen him do some crazier stuff. I'm pretty sure we, he was the one who pulled off the three stocks so far. Rockwall, but we're not at Rockwall now. Decided to take it to Tower of Heaven, and this is looking very comfortable for Retro. Keeping very good track of where this run is going. Now the edge guard finally coming through for Sharp Infinity. It needs to be something good oh, here. No. There's a fair and there's no tech. And now 73% on this last stock. It's not a good place. You wouldn't take it, but it's better than where you could be right now. Sharp Infinity. Quick combo off the side B. Can he stay on top of Retro as the pressure starts to come through? There's the horn covering off that radial. Is there any way back? Does find an air oh, screw? Could, this barely, could be big damage. Barely with the tongue. Up to 57% on the Shovel Knight. 
Keeping it very close now. 93%. You have to be so scared right now if you're Sharp Infinity, but you can't afford to look like it. You give any sign of fear to this catfish, and he will send you down deep. There's the up smash charge, but it's not going to take it. Nearly dead even between these two. Oh my god, and off stage, and... This is this is ridiculous. I seriously have Ooh, no- the Perry oh. comes through and that's <laughs> Perry coming through, taking it with the down strong, and that is Sharp Infinity keeping it cool, keeping it collected, and taking it in a game nine versus Retro. A reverse three stock in game nine coming out from Sharp Infinity. What in the fresh hell? We thought that Retro was the one going to be showing us something new. But Sharp really did. Save the best for last. <laughs>